PAC was formed in 1964 by community activists who were residents of Fort Greene, Clinton Hill and Bedford Stuyvesant. They really focused on issues of community betterment, community improvement, such as bringing a Clinton Hill library to the community, um, improving Clyler Gore Park. They formed a number of community gardens. They were really concerned about anti-abandonment and worked on sealing up vacant buildings. And then in 1980, we formed an actual housing office. That's when PAC became staffed and really started focusing on housing as our main issue. We would now like to present PAC's accomplishments over the past year. As the Director of Development, I work to ensure that PAC stays ahead of the curve, making sure that the program staff have the resources they need to carry out PAC's mission. We're always looking for new funding streams. We had the potential to have a pool of individual supporters and donors. We launched the Young Friends of PAC, a group of professionals in their 20s and 30s who live in the neighborhood and who stay connected to PAC and who come out to events. They provide volunteer help and they donate, which is really invaluable to a small not-for-profit. We also work hard to get the word out about our many achievements and successes. This year we focused on documenting our work through video and updating our website. It's been really great to meet and hear from our clients about how they've been helped by PAC. My daughter decided we should, she wanted to do nursing also at the care centre. And we went wrong looking for a house and we did find it. And the guy said he was selling it, he took me to his real estate broker. And we went in and the, st the deal started. I didn't even receive a key. I didn't receive anything. And I keep calling them and I keep asking them in the courthouse, in the deed and stuff office, and there was nothing on my name. So I went back to them and all of a sudden the owner of the house disappeared and the real estate guy disappeared. That month, I didn't even know where I was going to get the money from to pay my mortgage. And that week that I went to prep, I felt I would have my house. I'm Benita Dowling. I am a homeowner counselor at Pratt Area Community Council, and I counsel people that are in foreclosure. But since you're coming to this class, that's not going to happen to you. We're going to be talking about credit tonight. Credit is very important. That is a very strong basis of getting your homes, getting your credit up to par. The road will be easy. Road would be easy. But this is affecting a lot of people. I have watched neighbors, I've seen my family give up their apartments, move out of their two bedrooms, their three bedrooms because we are losing jobs. Three years ago, I called Pratt to get some help with my apartment because my buildings had a lot of violations. So Pratt came in and helped me get the repairs done. They helped me get my windows changed. They did a lot for me. Then I started going to their meetings and I became one of the members of Pratt Ewe Community Council. We have been helping a lot of people in our communities, tenants that got burnt out from their home, tenants that lose their home, tenants with electricity got shut off, they have legal counseling. It's a great agency and this is the reason why I enjoy being with them, I enjoy being around them. They help a lot of people. Economic Development Department focuses on small business and we also focus on residential through a Main Street program, through a facade improvement program, whatever we can, you know, get on funding to try and help them make that happen. We do have um, relationships long term with property owners, long term with residents, long term with the merchants in the neighborhood. So it's, it's a key stakeholder of the neighborhood. At one point we had over 25 vacant spaces and I couldn't find a way where Working with the real estate brokers wasn't doing it. Working with the one-on-ones wasn't doing it because we were missing certain elements and having the tools of the organizations that we partner with, putting them in the same room or the same morning that we go out, 
Rolling Up The Gates is a tool where we put those organizations in a room, we bring the merchants or the, the startup business or existing business to expand in one room to talk and understand what the needs are and what they need in order to start or expand a business. For, for a long period of time, I, I had almost given up on Fulton Street. I had almost walked away and thought that I wasn't going, just the landlords were crazy, they didn't want to deal with me, it was just, they were unreasonable, it just was not going to work. I just, I really didn't think, I was heartbroken because I really wanted it to work. And um, through the help of Dale Charles, her tenacity and just her patience and just working with me, we really um, just took our time and and found the right home. In the last few years at PAC, we've experienced this flurry of activity of housing development. Countless projects have come in and outside our door. Project-based Section 8, limited equity co-ops, condos, supportive housing, new rental buildings, even a fire department headquarters. In reality, what matters the most is that we develop well-made and affordable housing, and that the tenants and the home buyers are happy with what we've done. What was once empty lots are now livable communities. And I think that's great. It's great to see. It makes me proud to work at PAC. We are renovating buildings as well as keeping rents affordable for existing tenants. One is the old Brooklyn Firehouse. The building provided 18 units. Of those 18 residents, original tenants that lived in, um, in the fire station, five tenants remain. I'm very, very happy to say that we're going to be preserving affordable rents for these tenants. There's going to be a renovation and we're going to set the rents um, at very, very low. My other project is 265 Hawthorne Street. It's located in Prospect Lefferts Garden and it will provide a renovation for 71 units. The redevelopment of the former brick site, nearly the full square block bounded by Flushing, Vanderbilt, Park, and Clermont Avenues, offers an exciting opportunity to create a dynamic new urban environment while responding to the community's need for affordable housing. PAC made the decision to manage the property that we develop in housing development. Right now we have over 700 units in management. We preserve the units that we developed, make sure that they are financially sound, that they are safe and affordable to the tenants that live there. And then also to make sure that like, the buildings are well maintained on the outside so that they can be a beautiful enhancement to the blocks on which they exist. So that we're not only helping to create a beautiful block, but also safe, decent homes for the residents of our neighborhood. Imagine a 71 unit facility where we provide supportive housing. Each tenant is assigned a case manager, and the case managers basically are here to provide support. What makes Give Mansion so unique to the tenants that are here is that we, the social services staff, know the tenants personally. The tenants who work here know that the staff cares and the staff know that the tenants are willing to work with us and we're all a family here at Good Mansion. We're committed. They understood where I had been, how I got there, and what I wanted to do with my life. And they, they gave me that opportunity by accepting me into the program here. And I'm very grateful because I feel like um, I'm really loved here, you know. PAC is one of the few organizations that is not only interested in helping community tenants save their homes, but also in preserving neighborhoods, providing housing, new housing, and also helping each neighborhood hold on to their own uniqueness that makes the neighborhood indigenous to itself, and I think that's really important. For the last five years, I've been wondering, how can I get back to my community? And Pratt has showed me just how I can. Through our efforts, PAC's board, staff, and members work to preserve the economic and racial diversity of the communities which we serve. Thank you all for your efforts.